I'm running this race, not for me, it's for them. I'm carrying this flag. I'm running for the children that don't have even moms, don't have parents, don't have anybody to take care of them, to clothe them, to feed them if they're hungry, to give them a shoe. I am running for those kids, for those parents who are like, never have an opportunity to come here. Lopez Lamong was born in a small village in Sudan. When he was six, rebels snatched him from his mother's arms during a church service. I was dragged by a big guy with a lot of guns and bullets around him and was thrown in a truck. He was imprisoned at a rebel camp where he watched other young captives die. That's when he and three other boys planned their escape. They told me like, hey, t tonight we are going to see your mom again. In the dead of the night, Lopez slipped through a prison fence and ran for his life. We're trying to like run into the woods, through the uh, savanna in a tall grass, it's like that, because we don't want anybody to be able to see us on, on above, on the hills and all these things. And we never had any, any food along the way. We just have fruits. Three days and 40 miles later, the Kenyan border patrol found little Lopez and took him to a refugee camp. It was his home for the next 10 years. His new enemies became disease, hunger, and despair. How often were you afraid that you were going to lose your life? I, I wanted to be, you know, one of, one of those kids who just go to sleep and never wake up. It's a survival of the fetus. You know, you have to be strong. You have to be, to be able to, to get that uh, half peel of banana or spired canned food. And we all fighting for that. And that was our life. I'm just going to go day by day, hour by hour, and I know that God is going to give me an opportunity. And, and that's basically what, what I make me keep going. Lopez attended church services. He longed for a deeper relationship with God and wanted to be baptized. During a Christmas Eve service, he made a commitment to live like Jesus. I've been chosen, mm -hmm. and God wanted me to carry that cross and follow him. And how Jesus appointed his disciples, called them by name. And that's why I'm doing the God work. He began running the 18-mile perimeter of the refugee camp to meet the kids' self-imposed requirement to play in their soccer games. It served as a distraction. It's basically kept me away from thinking about my meal. And I mean, it's very, it's very tough to see that little rationing that you know that it's only you have to eat one meal a day. So running became something like I have to keep myself away from hunger. When Lopez turned 16, a remarkable opportunity opened. He was among 3,800 displaced kids chosen to live with families in the United States. Robert and Barbara Rogers became Lopez's American parents as part of the Lost Boys of Sudan program. I'm so blessed to be in this country. Me and my mom went to shop for school supplies. To have that backpack, to have that pencil, crayons, in my backpack at 16 years old so that I can be able to write something I remember afterward. It's just incredible. Lopez graduated from high school in nearby Tully, New York, where he ran on the track team. He earned a scholarship to Northern Arizona University and became an American citizen. He qualified for the 2008 Olympics in the men's 1500 meters and carried the U.S. flag in the opening ceremonies. Lopez won his first national title a year later at the 2009 USA Outdoor Track and Field Championships. He competes year-round internationally, never forgetting the thousands of remaining lost boys of Sudan still searching for homes. Now I'm running towards something. I'm running towards something to be able to give back to those kids, to give them opportunity, to give them that light for them, a future. You went to the United States and you told your story. Basically, you now you rescued all of us. God put us here for the reason and put me here to survive all these obstacles that I went through for the reason. Basically, to go out and help. Lopez lives and trains in Portland, Oregon. His newly released book, Running For My Life, is raising awareness of the plight of displaced children in southern Sudan. Put everything in God's hand and follow what your heart, your heart and God relationship tells you to do.
We all have different things that go through our lives. We're all racing in our hearts in different ways. We all have things that we need to overcome. You just have to like step on that line and race. Get there and call God and say, hey, I'm here. Save me, forgive me. That's all, that is the race that we, we, we all need to do. His next race is in London at the Olympics when he runs the men's 5,000 meters. The Olympic 5K runs 12 and a half laps. In the first six, runners share pacing and positioning. The next four require perseverance. But it's in Lopez's last lap and a half when he prepares to strike. Then in the final straightaway stretch, the focus is his alone. Oh God, help me. Just give me one more strike, 80 meters to go. And then you strike, strike hard. Basically that's when you just get and said, hey, I'm doing this for joy. I'm just doing this for God. I'm doing it for everything. That, I, that means so much to me. I'm running, closing my eyes, visualizing everything, that I, how I went, went through. Running away from people, like rocks, sticks, sticking on my, breaking into my skin while I was running barefoot with my Sunday best clothes that I had. Jesus did save me. And Jesus did help me with my race. I'm not in the finish line yet. I'm just in the middle of the race.